What is going on guys? It's your boy IC Josh back at it again with some more videos and with today what we're going to be talking about is if you read by the title already we're definitely going to be talking about a certain thing of Doken Battle getting um, raids into the game. Now I kind of gave it a little bit of thought to uh, the process of how Doken Battle can actually really go and give themselves raids like Ultimate Ninja Blazing or um, or what is it? Um, uh, Bleach Brave Souls, you know, anything like that, that that does have that aspect where you can play with other people. Now, I do want to go ahead and say for PvP um, purposes right here now that um, I don't necessarily think they will, um, would be able to give us PvP right now just for a simple fact that PvP is kind of something for Doken Battle and getting clicking orbs and having their turns and rotations. It kind of would, would make it. It, I don't know how much sense it would really make for them to go ahead and try to do that. I don't know if they could actually get that per se really right. So um, just just be on the lookout for that. Like it, it seems like they wouldn't be able to give it get it right. Like if you look at um, Battlefield right now, and we're Battlefield still in beta, they didn't get it right. So that's why it's still in beta. That's probably why it hasn't came to global yet. And yeah, I don't think they would actually be able to get that right per se. So. In my opinion, I would possibly say that that would be, you know, way out there. But going back from um, going back for, to the raids. Now, you guys can go ahead in the comment section below. Let me know how you would do raids, or you know, you can get, go ahead and wait and see how I say it and see if you have anything to add to it or not. But you guys can let me know how you would do raids. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button as well. So first thing I want to go ahead and say about the raids, I would go ahead and base it a little bit on um, Ultimate Ninja Blazing because I think Ultimate Ninja Blazing has kind of like the best raid system in, in terms of how they actually do it. So for and, and to be able to uh, incorporate that into a Doken Battle kind of thing is like keeping the same orbs and being able to uh, run that same kind of format in Doken Battle but not like try to switch over to Ultimate Ninja Blazing type style. I think for the thing that they should possibly be able to do is um, keep it to where you do pick two two players. So it is a three it is a three man team and you do pick your two characters that you want to go in with just like Ultimate Ninja Blazing. And I think the first player um, leader skill should activate and then the last person's leader skill should activate. So say there is a um, say say there's a physical um, event out. Say there's a physical raid and everyone is kind of like, you know, I'm gonna run an STR team. So I think if you run an STR team, then Goku would be, you know, obviously the choice. He would be the mono lead that you're gonna take in. I personally think that if they did it that way, it would balance it out. Now you may be wondering like, well, if that's the case, they'd probably go in and one shot a lot of these events. I don't necessarily say they would do it because they probably um, up the HP in these raids. So instead of having like, seven or eight you know health bars they probably have like 10 or 12 health bars which would be kind of great because it would balance it out because at that point in time you know a lot of people would have a lot of cards in the dupe system and yeah and i'm going to talk about the dupe system how that would actually play in for that as well i personally think now for for the whole two-man thing you'd be able to um for, for your turn you'd be able to switch out your support unit or you'd be able to switch out your lead and you could have like there's only two rotations so you'd either have your support supporting, you know, the actual harder hitter cards and then have your harder hitter card on the next rotation and then they have their support units on the next rotation. You could do it personally like that. I think that'd be a really good way to kind of like even it out and balance it out. You could also have maybe like 30 seconds or so to um, kind of see what you're going to do. Maybe have a little chat bar where you can actually talk to someone or the other people and say like, hey, I'm going to put my support unit in the you know first rotation. You know, you guys can put your so you know your strongest hitters in this in the you know first in the first slot that first rotation, and then you guys have your support units on the next rotation, and then I have my you know actual hard hitter in the next rotation. So I think that would kind of be able to balance it out. You'd be able to talk to everybody, kind of see how there everything's going to go. Now another thing that I want to go ahead and say really 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 quick about the oh man that, I actually got the um, rotation I really wanted, but the other thing I want to talk about is the hidden potential system. And I think the hidden potential system could kind of work in that way of um, of how Ultimate Ninja Blazing does their lucky drop and they do and they do that luck base. I think that would be that would be a really good way for them to actually be able to use the hidden ten, hidden potential system because if you use a hidden potential system, say someone has a hundred percent Goku, they have a hundred percent Goku in the dupe system, 
and you're thinking well damn that's that's already op you're going to have some, you know 100 percent unit that you're going to be able to use it's going to have 100 percent luck now i don't think they're going to do that i think they'd be able to uh maybe split it maybe divide it by three and so say you have like a 33.3 um, percent uh, chance of like that luck so you have 33.3 um luck and then the next person comes in and has 100 percent unit two so you have 66.6 .6. uh hate that number but you have you know 66.6 .6 chance of you know the card to drop and then somebody else comes in with a hundred percent unit and now you have 99.9% .9 chance so you're basically like a guaranteed you're gonna get that card to drop um, I think that would be a really good way to kind of do it like like ultimate ninja blazing because it, it would be able to introduce a new way and if you're thinking right now well Josh that wouldn't make that much sense because you know a lot of the free-to-play units well free-to-play character for the play people in the game would be like well that's not fair because you know i didn't summon that much for you know this card to get him to 100 percent. i didn't do that well it does make a little bit of sense because when you think about it we do have cards uh in the game now that you can get to 100 percent. like take for instance the bulma the looking for mr right bulma that tech bulma that we got she's 100 percent. you can get her literally a free to play 100 percent card so and then not even just to mention that um L goku jr is supposed to be coming out uh, either tonight or in the morning depending wherever you are uh i think like two in the morning or something like that so yeah there's there's that too and so say if you have a um if you have an agl raid you can take her in and then use your actual either gogeta or your tech angel super saiyan 3 goku or gotenks whatever you want you can use that in your second rotation so that way she's in the first rotation and she's going to have all that luck just like you know ultimate ninja blazing has and then the same thing for uh goku jr if you if there's a if there's a tech event you can use him there i think that would kind of like balance it out a lot more and that way people would kind of be like okay so now i know that i can actually do this or i can actually do that and there's you know no real threat of me of not being able to do anything free to play players could really you know take from this and they could necessarily like learn and not even the fact of that they can introduce new cards into the game that we've all been wanting to see so they can all be raid cards and they can either give them a new leader skill or they can give them a fierce battle or shattering the limits as a rebirth or anything like that for those cards you can get their medals from those cards and you get the card drop you can get them 100 percent from that as well i think that would be a really really good thing to actually do and that's just my opinion like for for instance let's go with um Let's go with false super saiyan goku he could be a he could be a raid boss uh you can have lord slug as a raid boss you can you can have um tapion and harutagar as or garlic jr uh, you can have all these other guys as raid bosses so i think that would work out a, pretty well in my opinion that would work out pretty well because everyone would be able to either um vote for the next you know raid that they want or they could actually just you know introduce them just like they did with lrs and just randomly at times be like or just put it on the news like hey this is the next you know raid that's going to be coming out i think that's a person personally for me i think that's a really good balance for them to actually be able to do something that way and i know a lot of people are probably going to be like well i don't know maybe i maybe i maybe they should do the whole luck thing a little bit different maybe the luck should work for um for everything after that and maybe not just raids and personally um if they did do that then it would kind of give it kind of be able to, to take out that whole um luck mechanic or the uh drop rate mechanic for a lot of things it actually make a lot more sense because now if you have like a certain character that has a lot of um luck on them they could go ahead and literally destroy um, events because now that you have a set amount that you know you're going to be getting from something then now you know like hey I can get this from this or if I use this card with all this luck on it I know I'm kind of like have a real good shot at getting the card or metal to drop that's really really hard because like the future Gohan medals were really really hard to get I know those Nappa medals from the uh, great ape um, story event I know he was kind of hard to kind of get so yeah like you can say like now you have a like really good chance of getting these uh medals to drop and i think that they would do it the way of your leader skill uh so you're like just like ultimate ninja blazing is so your your first character your leader that you have would be the um would be the luck that you would have and then whatever guests that you bring in uh maybe if they're a friend list they'll it'll count it or not but i think that'd be kind of good but I, I don't think they really counted that much on ultimate ninja blazing but i think it's more of just your or leader skill per se 
well your leader luck per se so i think that would be a really good way to actually do it there and having that would be would be pretty freaking good in the game but you guys right now could obviously let me know in the comment section below what you guys actually think of this do you think that that would be a really good way to introduce raids into the game or you think hey maybe there's a different way they can possibly do it and you have either the solution or your own thoughts on it you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you did enjoy smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i'm gonna go ahead and literally wait until they actually beat this frieza before i get out of here because i kind of want to see how they're oh oh additional i'm glad i waited i'm glad i didn't stop the video right now because omega shinron is sa10 by the way and he's showing out he does have no crits on him but i respect it i respect it put some put some respect on his name has he already supered me i haven't even paid attention that's another thing i haven't even paid attention i really honestly think i can actually beat the this boss rush with this physical team like i'm being dead serious but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i'm out peace it's gonna be a yellow myself but we can make it a group yellow so none you guys know what to do go ahead pause the screen if you need to get ready and i'm pretty sure you already paused by now so what we're going to go ahead and do is three two one we're going to fire at the exact same time so i'm going to go ahead and swipe this back nothing we did get um nothing as well no pods no no hercule so this could be a nothing 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 or it could be a nothing nothing something